when the curator Jacqueline and I were talking about this exhibition, what I was thinking about at the time were those sofas that everybody had in their basement or in their living room with the big flowers and everything. In thinking about these sofas, they hold a very specific socioeconomic position. They hold a very specific cultural position. I decided to just pay attention to them. Through that, I think I'm using them as a metaphor for ways of being, I guess. The newer works and the older works are all sharing a similar world. I can see the connection. I can see how they come from the same socioeconomic place. The person who inhabits one could easily inhabit all of these worlds. When I've been walking around the gallery myself and looking at the works, uh, it feels like a state of exception, like a pause or a space. And I, that, I guess that sounds a little funny because of the space that I leave in my canvas. There's a painting called Teenager. It shows a mundane thing, but for me, it's loaded. Loaded with this figure's uh, thoughts or feelings, what might be going on with them in their internal world. And I think this idea of being loaded with something complex, something emotional, something that is like a punctum. People talk about these spaces in my paintings. I guess I would say that it began with an experiment I was trying, and that was to try to paint from a memory without a visual reference. And at that time, those blank spaces stood for the things I couldn't remember accurately, whatever accurately meant. As I started to think about the way that these blank spaces functioned, they also became useful to create space for other possible contexts and narratives. I also think sometimes the spaces work like a held breath, allowing you to really focus on the things that are there. Because when a memory happens that is poignant to you, other things around it may fall away. You know, the more I remember this memory, the more I think about this memory, the more I wonder if I've sort of cut a groove where this is where the memory sits. But the truth may be somewhere else. Then we can extend that to family memories, community memories, cultural memory, and the ways that we are told the way to remember it, the, the correct way to remember something. I'd like to kick against that a bit.